All right, we're back for appetizer number two on our refreshing appetizers from the garden list. And this is how you make it. Pretty simple. We've got cucumber bites with herbed cream cheese. So we're gonna knock out all those garden fresh cucumbers and make sure that we are chopping all of those fresh herbs that you've got growing in patio containers or out in the garden. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the whipped cream cheese. Now, you can use block cream cheese, but I love the whipped cream cheese. It's just easier to work with. This has been sitting out for just a few minutes to get it kind of to room temperature. We'll add this to my mixing bowl. And then we've got salt and pepper. I make this so much that I usually don't measure. That's gonna be perfect. And a little salt, but the recipe you will have. Okay, a little salt, and then garlic powder, just to add a little bit extra flavor. Now I'm going to get started with chopping the herbs and the vegetables. relaxing. Okay. All right, we've got the herbs, the garlic, and the vegetables chopped. Well, I'm almost done chopping the vegetables. I love these little micro mini cherry tomatoes, the ones that always seem to fall off when you're harvesting tomatoes, cherry tomatoes specifically. So these are going to serve as a cute little garnish and a way to be a little fancier in this dish. I love this appetizer because it's really poppable, super refreshing, and this cream cheese spread goes on anything. And let me tell you, anything. Vegetable dip on your morning bagel, you can use it anywhere. Heck, you could put it on a shoe and it would, the shoe would taste delicious. All right, so let's talk about now what we're going to do with the garlic. I love the flavor of raw, fresh garlic. However, sometimes it's a little strong, okay? To get that to spread out, to get the raw garlic flavor to tone down a little bit, but amplify that beautiful garlic flavor, we're going to shake a little bit of salt onto our minced, freshly minced garlic, and then we're going to rub the garlic with the back of our chef's knife to just make a paste. Let the garlic release its lovely aroma and oil and just make it a little more friendly to distribute evenly throughout our dipping, piping material that we're going on, the cream cheese mixture rather, which is super tasty. Now, you can, if you want, grab a piping bag, a star tip, and pipe this on. You might have to add a tablespoon of heavy cream if you want to get really fancy, just so it's pipeable. This is going to be perfectly scoopable. So let's give it a little stir. We're not gonna stir too much. All right, we're gonna stir the seasonings around and then we are going to add our chopped dill, thyme, and chives, which is one of my favorite garden herbs. It's prolific all year long. I love it so much. We'll keep working our garlic paste just a little bit here, just smashing that salt into that garlic just makes it a little softer and easier to stir in. Okay, now we're gonna stir that in. Just take a second. So much easier to work with the whipped cream cheese. This is just an eight ounce container. I like to make extra because, like I said, you can eat this on anything and it's so delicious. This is a great make ahead appetizer. Just chill these cucumber bites down in the refrigerator and they're ready to go whenever you want them. All right, there you have it. There's, there's our mixture. Now, if you have a tiny cookie scoop that your grandmother probably gave you and you had no idea at the time what to use it for, this is your chance. Nobody wants cookies that are this small, but let me tell you what, this is a great way to use this cookie scoop. Watch this. We're just gonna release that right on top of your cucumber round. Just like making cookies, but even tastier. 
I like a generous amount. If you don't want as much, you can just smear a little bit on top, no big deal. Sometimes my kids actually like to make sandwiches out of these, which is really fun. You can just put a little bit in between, sandwich those cucumber slices together. It's super fun. This takes two to three cucumbers. I've got about one and a half chopped uh, here at the half inch. So it's a nice sturdy piece of cucumber to go along with plenty of our topping, which is so delicious. All right, and that's all it takes to top our delicious herb cream cheese cucumber bites. Now, here is the crown jewel. You're always gonna have a few extra fresh herbs. I love to just use those, sprinkle them over the top, and kind of garnish the plate with them. It just gives the plate, the platter, a little more interest. It makes it look super fun and fresh. Now, you can take your little cherry tomato, sit him on there. This also, this action also helps seal that cream cheese mixture right onto the top of the cucumber. It's gonna just make a really fun party appetizer. So delicious and fast. All with stuff that is coming out of your bountiful garden. All right. There you have it, my two favorite garden appetizer, caprese buttons, and herb cream cheese cucumber bites. Just out of your garden, all from Iowa Food and Family Project and Earl May and the Let's Grow Campaign 2022. We want you to get out into your garden and grow some stuff so you can make delicious food like this.